Hey guys, Santera Lucera here. Hope everybody's doing well, feeling blessed, and living your best life. So, a seducing sex spell to make them want you real bad. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump straight into it of what you will need. And sometimes, you know what? Uh, almost everybody I've known has wanted a spell like this. Okay, so let's just jump into what you will need for this particular spell. Okay, number one, the first thing you're gonna need is a lilac or a purple candle, okay? Um, you're also going to need a rusty needle, the rustier the better, um, because it really has an amazing energy. Okay, you're going to need rose water, um, you're going to need honey, as well as Lilith's sigil. Okay, um, the demon, the goddess Lilith, uh, you're going to need to draw her sigil as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to mix the rose water with the honey. Once you have done that, you are going to rub it onto the candle. So once you've done that part of the spell, you're going to use the rusty needle and you're going to engrave your name as well as the target's name seven times onto the candle while doing this visualize what you'd like must happen, the outcome, okay? Once you have done that pretty simple spell, you're going to put Lilith sigil next to the candle. You're going to pray to Lilith for the outcome you are also then going to light the candle, okay? So once you have lit the candle, you're going to look into the flames and visualize everything that you desire must happen, okay? When you cast this spell and after the spell, okay? Once you have done that, for seven days, you are going to light this candle, okay? For seven minutes, um, for seven minutes and for seven days, okay? So that is what you're going to do. And for that seven days, for seven minutes, you're gonna look at that flame and you're going to visualize the outcome. Guys, I've had many clients that I personally taught that has had amazing experiences and outcomes with this particular spell. So guys, it's a really short um, video, but when you, if you can invoke Lilith, I would also say invoke her before casting and invoke her after casting. So guys, that's it from me uh, for now. Stay tuned for a lot of a lot more spells and a lot more teachings on how to work with the Goetia. Like, subscribe, and if you need any assistance in spell work, you're more than welcome to contact me. My information is in the description box. Stay tuned for more guys. Bye for now.